that's it for summer 2019. But winter is coming. We know what's coming with it. We can't face it alone. Winter is coming. Yes, it's time to put away your backpacks. Time to uh, store that QRP radio, or is it? This time, I am gonna talk about an amp that can uh, get you double duty from your QRP radio. It'll also save you a ton of money in the end. Stay tuned, this time on K6UDA Radio. So the Zaiju or Zaigu, however you want to say it, uh, XPA 125B 100 watt amplifier. How good is it? How does it stack up? Uh, and what this basically could do for you is take your five or 10 watt uh, QRP radio, whether it be a Zaiju radio, or uh, some other brand, your 817, your uh, KX, your KX3 or KX2, and it can give you a full 100 watts to operate with inside your shack. This is the Zaiju XPA125B HF plus 6 meter 100 watt amplifier from MFJ. Like I said, 100 watts with a built-in tuner, this um, black and white digital screen, automatic band switching, plus manual band switching. You can uh, operate the amp in a manual mode uh, for other radios. The back of the amp is very, very simple with uh, one input for your transmitter, an output for your antenna, a 12 volt DC in, a uh, control cable that goes to the uh, to the radio, a COM port for updating uh, software updates, and a 30 amp fuse. Now compared to the Elecraft amp, the Zaiju is very very simple, but that also means you don't have that maze of wires that you do with the Elecraft amp. Which brings me to my first bitch, this. This is the uh, CE19, and you need to have this in order to hook up this cable that comes with the amp, and this cable that comes with the radio. Now, for whatever reason, Zaiju uh, did not make the same connections on either end of this. One end, one end has these little connections here, uh, just a bunch of pins, and the amp end actually has uh, a little, uh, a little plastic piece in the middle there. So these two cables are not interchangeable. Thus, you need to have the CE19, an extra $30 uh, in order to get these two talking to each other. If you're going to run a different radio with this other than one of the Zaiju radios, uh, you're also gonna need the CE19. It has all the other connection ports that you would use if you're not using a Zaiju radio. So, it is what it is. Now the front of this radio is very clean. It, uh, it has uh, simple controls on it. It has a power button, uh, the uh, power amp switch on and off, your band setting mode, but it does also auto sense the band with uh, some radios, especially the Zaiju radios. Uh, and it has a built-in tuner. Now I did hook the amp up to my main uh, power supply and antenna and gave it a twirl and it does work. It does work well. So uh, very impressed with that. Kilo 6 Uniform Delta Alpha. Kilo 
Kilo 6, Uniform Delta Alpha. I think this guy is definitely favoring the whiskey calls today, so I give him that. The size of this amp is a little bit wider than the uh, KXPA 100 amp. Uh, it's a little bit uh, shorter than the uh, than the Elecraft amp. The 125B uh, measures in at uh, 10 inches long by three inches tall. The 125B is a heavyweight amp. It weighs in at 7.33 pounds compared to the Elecraft amp at uh, 5.54 pounds. And it costs a whole lot less. You can pick one of these things up for roughly $600 US. Uh, you can buy them from uh, MFJ and MFJ was uh, so cool to uh, send me one of these things. Now, I already have my my K3 in the shack, so I don't normally use one of these amps, but I'll tell you what, uh, this is a great alternative to, uh, to a very expensive $1,500, as a matter of fact, with all the trimmings, Ella Craft amp, which is kind of the gold standard. Now, on the other hand, you say, well, I can get a Hard Rock 50, and yeah, you'll pay four to $500 for that Hard Rock 50 amp, which is a 50 watt amp. This amp is gonna give you 100 watts with a built-in tuner, with all the controls. Uh, you, can, you can hook it up with uh, damn near any radio you want, and uh, get yourself a full 100 watts, which basically turns your station your QRP station into a full uh, HF radio for use in the winter time or when you're in your motor home or you're at a place where you've got sufficient power to run an amp and you want that power to get out. Now I tried this with my QRP Ranger and you can see what the amp draw is with a radio attached also. But for full power, it really likes 13.8 volts. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please, again, hit that like. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done it. And uh, check out my Patreon page and or uh, drop me a few bucks or a buck on PayPal. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got today. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. Seven three.